What's up? How's everybody doing? It's been a long week. It's only Wednesday. But it's still been a long week. So let me tell you, grad school ain't easy. Probably one of the hardest things, sort of one of the hardest things that I've had to go through. But it's only because of the people. But you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll talk about that later. What I do want to talk about is when you're facing an obstacle in grad school, in grad school, undergrad, whatever, in school, life in general, whatever. Um, like I said, man, in these videos, bro, I'm going to give you give you two things. I'm going to give you science, I'm going to give you lifting, I'm going to give you um, some stories for you to take. And these are basically my confessions of how I became a black scientist, all right? So first and foremost, uh, I was in I was in high school back in, I ain't going to tell you the date. Anyways, <laughs> I was in high school, right? Um, it's sitting in a physics class, uh, college physics actually, weird enough. I went to an all-black high school. It was an all-black community or whatnot. And it was only me and, I don't know, three other people in the class, right? So we get, it's senior year, we get down to the last day of school. Now, my science teacher, man, he, he was Mr. Tonkle. Mr. Tonkle was a no-nonsense kind of dude, but he was the realest dude. Like, seriously, first first day you walk into his class, you first thing he says, he was like, look, man, I am a freaking genius. That's all you need to know to pass this class. And I'm just like, bet, I'm about to pass then. If I just write that on every exam, but no, it wasn't like that. So... He goes around the room on the last day of class and he he goes to each and every person. He was like, look, man, we're going to have a real talk session. I'm going to tell you every, what I think of you and where I think you're headed. So it goes down to everybody, you know, tells them. And he, he at least saves me for last. And he saves me for last and he tells me, he was like, look, man, I'm sorry. He, he apologizes to me. I'm just like, apologize? What are you apologizing for? So he apologizes to me. He was like, look, man, we didn't we didn't prepare you well enough for college. Now, I went to a small undergraduate college, Butler University, go dogs. But um, he told me he, we that they didn't prepare me well enough for college. Now, obviously, I'm blown. I'm blown. I'm like, man, I'm about to graduate. I already accepted a college to go to this, you know, private prestigious university and you telling me I'm not ready but he was like but but he said you once you get there you're gonna hit a brick wall and I just hope once you hit that brick wall that you keep on going honestly man I it was senior year so I'm just kind of like ah, okay whatever but I didn't know what he meant until I got there and I hit that brick wall and when I, hit that, when I hit that brick wall, it really inspired my first tattoo that I got. But, but that, all that to say is that once you hit a brick wall, you got to smash through it. Now, you, you don't have to smash through it alone. There's always going to be some help along the way, but you got to smash through it. That's why my first tattoo says to be successful is to be relentless. So you have to be in a relentless pursuit of success all right no matter what you're doing no matter whether it's lifting no matter whether it's school i mean i my very first tattoo was just my motto for life because there's a lot of things that happened and you know what a lot of brick walls came in my way but guess what man smash through you can do the same Needless to say, well, it ain't needless to say, but my my high school shut down now. That's how bad it was. But um, I, I take the one, the last thing that was said to me, I take that and I take it in stride. And I. So you might be sitting there thinking, okay, what does this have to do with your confessions of being a black scientist or whatever, 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 right? Well, it's it's the prelude. So I go into school. I, I well, I, I go into undergrad, not being prepared to be there at all, and I'm behind everybody. It feels like, 
um, in all my science classes. Now, be that as it may, I had I still had to get through. I still had to get the grades, even though classes in high school were dumbed down just to let others pass. It happens. That's the problem with our school system. But I won't go there. I will not go there. So, on the next video, I'm going to tell you some of the things that happen in undergrad. Most of the things. I get to, you know what, in undergrad, things aren't that bad. Things get crazy in grad school, but in undergrad, things aren't that bad. But besides that, I'm not only going to talk about science or my story, but I am going to talk about taking on the journey of me going to Orlando for Raw Nationals um, in October five weeks out. It's really exciting. Um, the bench is coming together. The squats are good. The deadlift, I'm hoping to hit a 700 deadlift, a 400 bench press, and a 600 squat. It's pretty exciting. I'm going to post um, my bench press, squat, and deadlift videos um, as well with this video so you guys can check it out. I've been working on some things, especially my, my hip drive with my um, with my bench press which is great um, I've been working on my squat especially the depth of hitting that hitting that depth of not getting too stuck in the hole but I got squat shoes and it's really changed my mechanics and my technique which is great um, I'm just pushing myself harder on deadlift which is um, really raised my deadlift to another level I got to go to an actual powerlifting gym because I'm <laughs> I'm losing space on the bar but things are going great I hope you guys like this subscribe and share peace Thank <laughs> you.